Good morning, everybody. It's Mary Kathleen Waters. Thank you once again for joining me with the Sunday Feels. It's been a very powerful and hectic week for myself. I'm not sure how everybody else is going. And um, this morning, it's going to be a little bit different. I wanted to share some experiences with you that's actually I've had um, and that I've actually also asked a dear friend of mine, Adele Palmer, to actually pop on this morning as well so that she can actually share what um, has been happening with herself. So hopefully I've got a few people joining me today. Um, is anybody here with us? Good morning, Dan, my favourite man. How are you? Thank you so much for joining once again. Oh, Tonya, my beautiful Tonya, how are you today? Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Adair, how are you? Thank you so much for joining in today. And I've got my beautiful Maggie um, whoops, um, coming in as well. And I want to share that Maggie actually is also um, a yoga instructor and her techniques um very peaceful and calming and I really enjoy um, working with her. Um, good morning Sue, how are you today? Your energy is looking quite beautiful. And Adair's actually sharing from mytimetv.live so thank you very much for doing that as well which actually broadcasts a lot far further across also. Now, what I'm going to do is um, bring Adair in and I will do a quick um, introduction as to what we're actually doing today because it is a little bit different. Oh, I've got people from America. Thank you so much for popping in, Tina. Tina is also a very talented psychic medium as well. Oh, thanks, Maggie. I'm glad that you're here too as well. It's it's just so nice that we can actually reach out. And, you know, even though Maggie is about four and a half hours drive away from me, just being able to connect with Facebook or um, on the internet, it just makes such a massive difference to know that my dear friends are really close and next to me as well. Oh, Adair's just popped up here a, a little message. Please remember to let your friends know Mary Waters is live. Thanks for that, Adver Adair. Appreciate it. Yes, yes. So um, thank you so much that you've got your mum with you today, Sue. I can't wait to meet um, her. Now, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a little bit different, but I think what um, at, towards the end we'll actually be able to connect with your mum and have a chat with her, okay? And Leanne Graham has actually popped in also this morning. So thank you very much. Now, Miggy, I'm just going to ask a favour. Um, last week we had a, um, I had a, a little gift for people that actually um, did the arrow, this one here, maybe if I actually do this. Um, so did the arrow and then they put a loved one, a love heart into um, the chat just to let me know that they actually did that arrow um, that way to let people know. Would Maggie, would you actually mind um, picking a number between one and 24? So there was 24 people that actually put the love heart into their comments. And that person is going to win a personalised one-on-one -on -one with me. So would you mind doing that for me, Maggie? Just takes a little bit sometimes for the, the chat to come up. So what I'll do is <laughs> I think she thinks she can. You just put a num uh, put a, nu a number, a digit in there for me like, you know, where you type, just bring up a number or even type one or 20 or, you know, so it's from one to 24, that's all. Okay. 
All right. So while we're doing this, 17. Okay. I'm just going to copy and paste this in so that everyone knows that I've done the right thing. Can you see that? It is the beautiful Lynn Millwood. Congratulations, Lynn. You've actually won a personalised one-on-one. -on -one. That's so exciting. Thank you so much. And what I'll do, Lynn, is I'll message you. Um, I'm not sure if you're on this morning, but I'll definitely be in contact with you and we can organise um, a time for that. So congratulations. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in um, Adair Palmer, who's um, kindly accepted my invitation to be a guest today. And we both have some really important stories to share um, um, in relation to what's happening in our real life of grounding. Okay. So Adair, hello, how are you? You might have to unmute yourself, darling, or did I? I no, didn't. no, I didn't. I didn't. How are you going? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I, there's a few people here that already know Adair Palmer. She has an amazing business and um, assists people in a number of different areas. She does actually run the Women in Business Amplified um, and assist small businesses and allow us and assist us to grow. So she's a very empowering woman and she's the reason that I'm actually doing the, besides Dan Marsh, by the way, because it was Dan <laughs> that actually goes, come on, Mary, you've got to do this. Um, but um, Adair actually invited me to um, work with her and I'm very eternally grateful. Now, um, so this morning what I wanted to share with you is about the grounding that we've been doing. So over the number of weeks that I've been um, doing my weekend chats, we've actually had um, been talking about the importance of grounding. We've done a couple of grounding rituals on live streams, as well as the explosion of the light energy that comes from our heart and explodes out. So we're actually touching and allowing the people that are right for us in our lives to come to us and for the nurturing side of things. So there's two aspects to this. One is the grounding and one what we're actually having as a magnet that's coming into our life. So what I'll do, because Adair actually has a lot on today, um, she's actually um, has bought a houseboat and I can't wait for it to be finished and this silly um, business about not being able to fly into state and all of that um, is you know, I'm going to be her first guest. I've just invited myself. So, <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, would you like to share what happened to you um, over the last um, few days? Well, thank you. And thank you so much for inviting me here. And it's just, um, it's a pleasure to be working with you. And it's a pleasure to be part of Sunday Feels as well. Just, uh, and I want to put on my coach's hat right now and just say, please, if you're watching this, do remember to hit the little arrow. I know Mary did say it, but you want to get as many friends as you possibly can. Hi, Dan, how are you going? To the party, because what we want to share with you today is stuff that's going to help everybody. Like it's been, the last 12 months have been tough for everybody and in different ways. And the importance of grounding cannot be underestimated. So if you're wondering why your loved ones or people that you, you know, you're, you're giving you cold pricklies or if you're wondering why people around you are not, you know, reacting as well as you'd like or if you're feeling there's some discomfort with life in general then help or if you see other people acting out if you see other you know like your friends your families your loved ones and you just go please let them know because what we're going to share today is going to help you it's going to help your family it will help your friends because we all we really at the end of the day, we just want to be happy and we want to have a bit of peace in our lives. I don't think we all, anyone comes here just to make it, you know, so that we can 
you, we've got to have the the ups and downs, but seeking the peace, and that's what Mary is doing so well, and she's helped me amazingly. So please let as many people as possible know what Mary's doing. And drop a heart in the comments when you've done it because Mary is going to do this again next week and draw a winner from the hearts. Is that okay, Mary? Have I just hijacked? There you go. Okay. I just had one okay. earlier. <laughs> oh. The magic of television. Here's one prepared oh, earlier. Going very fast. Oh, All right, we'll just leave it on and go through a few rounds. Okay. So in a nutshell, I, I've had, I know on my personal profile, I actually chose to share something that was not originally intended to be shared publicly. But um, buying this houseboat has been the, one of the most scariest and exciting things that I've done my entire life because it, and, and I knew it would mean a learning curve and I knew it would mean, actually, no, I didn't know how big a learning curve and I, and I didn't, I think asking for help, it, would, it meant I had to ask for help and I find that incredibly hard and I think a lot of people do as well. But I was, I was the, uh, the previous owners offered a place where I could stay because I didn't have a mooring and I was going to be able to, I thought, oh, I'll just stick it on anchor and, you know, and just sail off into the sunset. Well, you know, that sounds all very well and good and, and life, you know, um, that's, the idea is there and it has happened. You know, I felt like that a couple of more, many more times than not, but the times that I haven't felt like that have been when uh, when things haven't gone swimmingly or as, as planned and there's been some stuff that's happened that have been really, um, I guess, unexpected because, you know, you usually your, your life sort of rolls out as you expect it to. So if you expect it to be unicorns fighting rainbows, most of the time it is. If you expect it to be tough, most of the time it is. So I guess for me, Mary, and this is just coming up now, it's like we're saying I sort of expected a learning curve and a few bumps in the road, but I didn't expect to be absolutely gut punched and totally wiped out well not totally wiped out because i'm still here by the things that did happen mm. and when that stuff happened i re resorted to being totally human and reacting in a human way rather than in a spiritual way so it was and not grounding it was yeah um I don't, I don't know. Do you want to say something? Because I'm a bit no, lost. That's here. okay. Um, it, it does. It makes a massive difference. Mm -hmm. Like we all have challenges mm -hmm. in our life, and you know, the the humps can be enormous, um, and to the extent that they're um, mountains. And it's like, how on earth am I going to get this mountain range? Not even just a mountain, a massive range, like this big wall in front of us, and it's that whole overwhelming. You know what on earth is going on here how am i going to cope and how am i going to deal with this and mm -hmm. like it the most important thing is once we actually start having that rocky boat that you're talking about and your feet are not stable and you can't get, like, you, know, <laughs> and you, you know when you're petrified <laughs> and everything locks in like and all yeah. of a sudden you can't move your you, you know you know how to walk on a boat because you just bend your knees and make them soft so that you can actually walk along. But everything is um, rigid mm -hmm. and light. And yeah. It keeps going the wall. And it makes yeah. a massive difference to how you can actually cope because your brain all yeah. of a sudden goes, I can't do this. Then your body goes into the shutdown and then all of a sudden, you know, things start getting scattered. And by doing the, you know, grounding and centralising yourself and putting all of that into place and then making sure that it's, for me, what um, I'll explain a little bit more. Do you mind if we sort of share the same, our experiences together, what's happened this week? Do it. Let's go okay. with it. 
So um, I actually started a new job last week and um, it's an absolute honour to be doing what I'm doing. Um, and it is aside from um, the spiritual side, but it obviously, you know, we do need to have those step by steps for us to move forward, for this to actually be my everyday life and to be with you all, um, you know, 24 seven, basically. And my job is, um, I, it's an hour one way. So it's a two hour turnaround plus. Um, on a daily basis so I'm driving all those hours and then you know in management you tend to be working a lot more hours as well so I've gone from getting out of bed you know doing the news in brief where I can actually have the nice top on if I have a meeting and um, get ready and do my normal day and working to actually being putting on big girl pants having to get up, having to wash my hair, all these sorts of things. And so my routine went totally out of whack. And like, and what had happened was is that I can do this. I, I'm, I'm a natural grounder. I'm going to be able to just quickly get it all done, all sorted, and, you know, you know, in the car, off you go. And one, my ego got into the, in the way. And two... I was not grounding myself properly at all. I was like, and I'm putting my hand up here. I was doing the half-hearted grounding. And what actually yeah. was happening, like because um, eventually it's just going smaller and smaller and smaller so that my white light that I was expanding out was actually receding and coming back closer and closer. So I was not sending out the right energy space as well, as well as the grounding. Mm. Like the situation doesn't change, like, you know, um, in the timber industry, the whole timber industry is just totally crashed. So you can imagine going into management in the timber industry on the first day that um, the whole building industry crashed. And so I had to put out a lot of fires and doing things. But what happened was, is that all of a sudden, I got totally overwhelmed. And it was like, what on earth am I doing? Am I, you know, is this the right thing to do? Should I have left my other job? Should I have done this? Should have I done that? You know, and it's like getting all the ducks in a row. And, you know, and my brain was just going, tick, 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 and it was like, oh, my gosh. Like, And then all of a sudden, I thought, Mary, sit down pull yourself together and I went you're not getting yourself organized properly you haven't actually worked it out you can't half-heartedly ground yourself like that's you might as well not have done it you might as well had your cup of tea mm -hmm. and had a hole in the bottom of the cup like I was not getting anything that's a good analogy isn't it yeah you know mm -hmm. um so I actually created this end result that was not right but as soon as I recognized what I'd done and to be honest I totally um sat down I went to spirit I went to my guides I went to the guardian angels okay and I am I actually humbly apologized that I had not been doing the practice that I preach and it was mm -hmm. like I had tears in my eyes and it wasn't tears in my eyes for the overwhelming. It was a tears in my eyes to realise the importance, and I'm crying now, of what we do in our life. Like we, for us to be able to be the best that we can be physically, emotionally and especially spiritually, this one little mm -hmm. tool that's going to take us four or five minutes is like it's a breath of air it's our air that we need to breathe and that's really really important so for me once I got myself grounded exploded the light out had you know I just then put all my ducks in a row and we went right we I need to do this 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 and this it didn't mean that it was any more difficult or harder or it, it eased as in the harder but the coping mechanism was different and it meant that I thought differently yeah um and so that's how all of a sudden Friday night I went from coming home and going crash ban crash ban crash ban oh sorry about the microphone there um like Friday night, 
I actually felt, even though that that was at that, you know, I'm still right up here in the epicenter of trying to get things sorted. I was such a different person. Mm. So. I know that. It really does make a difference, doesn't it, when you do that grounding, you do the work and you can, and, excuse me, you see it's hard to talk about <laughs> because it, does, it makes you vulnerable, really vulnerable. And, you know, and I and I think, I don't know if you follow Brene Brown and, and her work on vulnerability, it's something that actually gives you resilience and strength yeah. to be vulnerable and that's something that I really, oh. Look at that, Leah. That's awesome. Um, so, so, so being. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Doesn't um, matter. Um, so that people don't know that I we've think, I've forgotten about them. I thought while you're chatting, I would just show that they're saying hello. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. I just oh, that's cool. Um, but I think I think that definitely. Um, definitely sharing that vulnerability about your experiences i think it's going to help others and when when i shared some stuff that was happening to me um and i know that i had to get grounded i had to be um there's buying this houseboat and i had a um there, there's things that need to happen and we actually found out yesterday and i had no idea that there was no bilge pumps aboard and it's like this whole safety thing on this thing and i'm going oh my god you know like the stuff that i thought was there and had been taken off i did like seriously they've got flares on there that are dated from 2015 i shouldn't be saying that out loud but um you know there's a whole heap of stuff that i like I didn't even know to look at, but I think because I wasn't, you know, like when you're all when you closed in on yourself and you're not you're not grounded, and like you were saying, when you're rigid, you can't actually think outside, um, out, outside for for not only practical solutions but creative solutions as well. And it's you know the, there was a whole heap of things that happened. So um, and I just share that and Mary could see that that I was going under, like terrible puns, really bad puns. Okay. But um, but yeah. And yesterday um, I'd have to say thank you so much because we did do, do uh, a proper grounding, and I had been doing half-assed grounding uh, because I knew the importance of it. But I had and I but because you get in that. That hamster wheel of going. I've got to. I've got to do all this stuff. I've got to find these solutions. I've got to um, make this stuff happen. And you do. You. What's the word that's coming to mind? Is atrophy. You just actually. It becomes smaller, and you atrophy. Um, and so that expansion by grounding and exploding the white light is something that's really liberating it doesn't change any of the external factors but it changes i think your resilience and your ability to be able to focus on the things that are important and let go of the shit. sorry i think no that's okay but i was actually I know. thinking of having a workshop called shift this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey tell us who would come along if she does that i'm there Put me, put my name down. Shift this shit. <laughs> totally, I'm totally there. So, um, please make it online, or I have to fly to Adelaide. So, <laughs> uh, so I think I think that was one of the things that really impacted me because, um, uh, in terms of the stuff that's happened, and 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 what I found was there was some people's reactions that weren't exactly as I expected, and I found that because my vibration, I, I let, oh, <laughs> Daniel be there, yay. two people <laughs> now in the workshop. <laughs> Me and Dan, who else? Come on, let's go ship this shit. <laughs> but I just have to say that with those people where the vibration was exceedingly low and I wasn't grounding, I was hooking into their negative stuff and i'm going why am i feeling so bad about this and of course mary just saw me just dissolve in the tears and went you need to be grounding properly my dear <laughs> it was it's like, yeah. angry, like um yesterday just 
the whole may I just share like the whole dynamics after mm. like having a chat with Adair yeah. and she's my my number one literally my number one fan who liked my page first um which is my beautiful Nige um he like he was actually helping Adair on the boat like the love of her life and so um, Spirit actually turned around and said, right, get Nige sitting down as well. And it was like we had the both of them together and um, we just did this um, powerful um, ceremony because um, it was a ceremony more than just the grounding, like because there was a number of different factors and it's not my place to actually explain everything um, with, like, you know, what Adair had shared with me. But... We just shifted that shit big time. It was like, oh, I it was massive. Like I actually had sweat pouring down my face. We got out the big guns of um, indigenous um, wild rosemary as part of the the ceremony smoking, um, and we brought mm. all the elders and um, past present merging. We had all our guides. It was just a massive experience. And like just seeing the energy and Adair, like Adair said to me um, this morning, and I'm just going to whisper, and she goes, I left my makeup on the boat. But look at <laughs> she, like, from what I like from yesterday to today, you don't even need the makeup. Like your energy and your aura and, you know, your vibration oh. is just so perfect and so beautiful. It's just like, it's chalk and cheese night and day it's oh, just incredible yeah. um and it's just such an honor that spirit actually and yourself and Nige permitted me to be able to do that and to do that whole it was like a whole house clearing it was like spiritually physically yeah. all the you know the boats the the water everything just like it was a, a big one-on-one -on -one, um enormous party it was a group hug yeah. <laughs> it was and i actually felt that i really felt that because when i when we came into that conversation um i said i'll tell you how many it's a bunch of new friends <laughs> <laughs> oh daniel you're not your friend i can imagine it. so but it was it was it was pretty amazing. What I loved about when you first you just went, is anyone Scottish? You said something about Scottish. Anyone Scottish there? And 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 I'm going, that was hilarious because I'm going Scottish. I don't know anyone Scottish. And I just went, Well, my parents, my mum's parents were born in Glasgow. <laughs> I only knew he had German heritage because that's what he talks about. And I had no idea that his mother was Scottish and his dad was German, but Mary knew or your clients knew. <laughs> it was just really bizarre though, like, you know, no. I, I was actually doing paperwork and um, sitting along and then Adair rang me and about oh, 60 seconds before the bagpipes are going and you know and i was thinking okay who like you know who's channeling and who's coming in and all of a sudden adair's on the blow and i go adair hello like so i've got bagpipes playing in my ear um who's scottish and she goes nobody i know <laughs> it was like so she actually got to know a little bit about nige that she didn't know about <laughs> yesterday so that, was, like, that was really interesting because yeah because it's like um like his ancestors or his mum was was present as well which is like uh that's it was, just it was huge and like you know yeah i know that you had so much to do yesterday and you've got a lot to do today as well but you know mm -hmm. when she when she dropped in it was like this whole celebration and you know yeah. and, that you know that love and that protection that she was around you and Nige yesterday was just enormous. Mm -hmm. um, and you know it's really interesting because with the bagpipes, like you know they used to lead the way to you know to keep people safe. Like war is not necessarily to fight, um, mm -hmm. to kill. It's actually like the intent of protection. 
Yeah. And she was yeah. pimping that way with the old bagpipes and had them going. <laughs> I think sometimes that, you know, what I hear in my yeah. mind that I could actually like, you know, like get one of those grommet things. So oh, that, yeah. you know, <laughs> that would be amazing. Yes. We, we, it, it's on its way, I'm sure. You know, like, ah, yeah. I just invented it. Okay, paint. Dan, can you get onto the paint and see? We've got a couple of things now that we need to look we'll at. Get the radio ways in, yeah. and translate them into yeah, yeah. So, so that's I. I just think uh, the process that you went through with the drumming and the clearing and the grounding was really, really powerful. And I just want to really encourage anybody if you are feeling or well, even if you're not if you're feeling like life's going swimmingly keep going reach out to mary because it's all about it's about leveling up too when you're feeling good because i what well, that's one of the things that i find is you know when life's going along really well you tend to forget and it's about i think the rituals and the practices and this is something that's really come home to me is when i do it properly when I do the grounding properly, things work better. And if I don't, but that you know, I've got amazing people like Mary to keep me just you know here. We just you don't have to throw out the baby in the bathwater and have a complete mm. you know one eighty degree change. You just do little tweaks to bring you back on track. Mm. So and grounding is the tweak and just following. Seriously, you deserve it. You deserve that five minutes or ten minutes or however long it takes. And like, I'm so guilty of this, but as of today, here is my commitment and it's public. I will do, and I'm going, yes, accountability buddies. You hold me accountable, Mary. <laughs> every, every morning I will do my grounding because I that's something that I started doing and then I sort of lost the you know maybe over the last probably six or eight weeks particularly and it's funny because that's when it started getting really rough so i'm going to start oh, i am grounding every day that's my commitment to me because i wear that and i suggest if you want to as well make a public commitment oh absolutely I agree. You know what? What we can actually do, um, I've just put in there, thanks, Diana. Um, she's actually put a message in there that I'm unable to load up because Facebook have different algorithms. So um, sharing love, I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's I just can't load that because if uh, Facebook catches it, it might actually boot me out. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. Let me have a look. So what um Diana Bassani. Oh no, no, that's okay. Pop it up. Okay. Told you she's my mentor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because that's not you, that's someone else saying it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the so beginner, the <laughs> it's okay, it's all it's all learning. Oh, that's all awesome. I, I I do have to say, is there anything else that we can, you know, help people with that while I'm here or any other messages that I can share or that you have for me or that I have for you or before I do go because One of I like Daniel's I would, here. Yeah, I'd like, oh, I'd, yeah, absolutely, you do. And I do appreciate and thank you so much. And I know I say appreciate too often, but um, it's just one of the I say amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But thank you so much for coming on and thank you for um, permitting me to do that work yesterday. It was such an honour. One of the things I'd like to share with everybody, because sometimes people actually come on and they say, do you have a message for me or do you have a reading for me or um, those sorts of things. Yes, I am a psychic medium. I am also um, a healer and on a, no, a number of different modalities. And one of the things, and I think there's a few people out here that may be able to um, acknowledge this, is that you might come in um, for a reading, but sometimes spirit goes, is that the right thing at this moment in time? It's nice to mm -hmm. actually hear about Niger's mum, 
but is that necessarily the right thing at this moment? Because with um, if we can actually work together for you to raise your vibration, be grounded, yeah. fine tune everything, it's going to be a lot easier. And one of the things as well is um, that the chats of, um, you know, some people put in a chat and they go, um, am I going to get that job? Why haven't I got that job? Um, why is Lucy not talking to me? Um, am I going to um, meet the love of my life? Now, for me, if we can actually get those techniques and those tools down, I understand mm. that it's nice for someone to be able to foresee, but the thing is, is that having those techniques, you're going to start attracting the right people. So the love of your yeah. life is going to come in. The um, the right job is going to be on its way because spirit's going to block it. If you don't help yourself, it's not going to happen. Yeah, and that's you know the very. Yeah the biggest difference and and how people react to you and respond to you can be exceptionally different as well so um grounding is so necessary right now thanks diana it's a great confirmation yeah. but like yeah. you know even you know family dynamics it's like you know like yeah. even work colleagues like um, when I left my career the other week um and you know someone who had minimal contact with me in seven years actually messaged me and said I'm really sorry that you're leaving and I thought I didn't even think you knew who I was wow that's interesting yes. isn't it um that you know make a massive mm. difference I, I love your energy and you inspire me too. oh Martina <laughs> So, and like, I love Tina so much. We actually connected in a group and um, she's a, a bit like you, like a forever friend there, Adele. Like, you know, we started off as a business associate, but, you know, yeah. I, I'm I, I'm going to put you in my little ca um, pouch, that's for sure. Like, and there's, you know, I'm very, very <laughs> grateful. Um, and you know, I support. So, you, off you go. Um I'll have a quick chat with everyone and see if there's anything that anyone needs to do because we've been going now for 37 minutes. Now, I did actually have... Um, okay, I've got a few international people coming on this morning. Sorry. You do. Um, you do. They're all the way from India. Roy, Rattenborg, yeah. Roy. And I had a couple more up but I didn't want to interrupt our conversation. But there was someone from Sri Lanka, if I can find their name. So while she's looking at that, I just want to say that what Mary says uh, about taking responsibility, all right, the Rindu. Hey, from Sri Lanka. I know. What and Mary say about taking responsibility for our own healing, I think that's in a nutshell, um, and when we do that, things work out a whole heap better. And we, you know, it's what I love, and we don't want to do it, any of our psychic medium friends out of business, but but the healing part of it is so important because when I was healing, I could get messages direct from my dad. You know, but I couldn't do that while I wasn't vibrating in the space. You know, so you, you can. Anyway, I'll leave that with you, my darling. Thank you so much. I'm no, so grateful. Okay. You, I, I can see that, like, it's really quite interesting. And I'll just quickly share this with everybody. Can you see that Adair's um, picture is actually going in and out? What Adair's doing is, like, she's actually um, energetically has stopped um, because she needs to move forward and move on. So um it see it's just a confirmation to say right you know if we're in this moment of now Adair needs to move on so she's actually now changed her space to go to the next um on but thank you so much for coming in I really do appreciate it it was just yeah it was a it's been a very special weekend and thank you thank you very much have a great weekend everybody and uh we'll catch up later bye, bye thank you <laughs>
Okay, well, that was pretty powerful. How did we had some wonderful people um, put some messages up here? Um, and thank you very much for coming in. Um, Roy, India, love your show. The Pen of India and India TV, big fan of you, your show. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Leanne, you too. Now, what we've got uh, is Sue's mum has come in. Um, Sue Neiman. Now, Sue actually asked a couple of questions um, a few weeks ago. And um, I'll just reiterate for people that are new to um, my Sunday feels or my Saturday lives. Um, when somebody's actually on this mortal earth and there's a question, I, um, for my own ethics and obviously on the karma side of things, I actually make sure that um, I do not tap into somebody else's energy without permission, okay? And Sue was very honourable and very humble with that and she understood the reasoning behind it. And so um, I invited um, like Sue to ask her mum to come down and um, we can have a chat. Now, um, so she's actually here today, and um, so Sue, can thank you so much, Dawn. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, Sue, can you just um, message me with a thumbs up, just so that I know that you and Mum are still together, um, and we can do this, or what we can also do because it has been a little bit of a long session today. Um, we could actually do. Um, a one-on-one -on -one together. What would suit you better, Sue? All good. Okay. Wonderful. And how's mum going? Like, how is she feeling with um, having, like, the session that we're actually doing um, this morning? Did any of it resonate with her? Because what I'm feeling is, is that one of the things as well is that mum... Um, it's really important that mum actually starts grounding. Um, she's actually, I don't know how to describe it, but um, a little bit of a hunch and um, like, you know, and so, you know, that, that, that little shunting and, you know, that feeling moving forward and like a mum's actually trying to keep her balance and what we need to do is actually really work on trying to help mum um, get herself regrounded. And like it's, you know, it's not with um, health issues. Health issues are going to be there, but it's a matter of actually working out what we need to do and how we're actually going to go about things and the energy around um you know, our own particular space. So one of the things, um, so what's your mum's name? I should have asked. I can't really call her Mrs. Neiman unless that's your maiden name. Keep forgetting to look at the camera, by the way. Sorry about that, I'm looking down. Pat, Pam. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, what I'd like everybody who's actually still with me on this live stream, um, I'd like everyone to sit up straight and close your eyes. And Pam, what we're going to do is we're actually going to send some pure love light to you. So we're going to do a quick grounding ritual. So um, Pam, if you could actually sit up straight yourself. Um, hopefully you, um, not in a lounge chair, in a dining chair would be better for you. I know that it's a little bit difficult and it's more comfortable with, to be in the chair. But So can you just run and go and get mum a, um, a sturdy chair? While Sue's doing that, what I'd like everybody to do is um, if we can actually sit up straight and we're, we're going to actually put... Um, do a, a, the grounding ritual and we're going to 
Oh, perfect. She like she's in the kitchen. That's excellent. Okay. Um, what we'll do is the quick grounding ritual. Then we'll send some white light out. And we'll actually start doing a little bit of healing um, for Pam. And so we'll do some intentions. So the first thing that we need to do is do it for ourselves. And then what we'll do is send that white light and send some direction to her so that we can actually assist. Because at the moment, Pam's aura is very heavy and clouded. So not only does she have um, health issues, the, the aura being so you know claustrophobic and so muddy is actually acerbating that the problems that are actually happening okay so what we need to do is do really deep slow breaths in through our nose into our diaphragm which is just below our rib cage and then very slowly exit out now as you're breathing in I'd like you to imagine white light. And that white light is coming from the source, Great Spirit. And as you can imagine that going in through your crown, you don't have to see. A lot of us do see, feel, hear. And sometimes we have to imagine everything is right. There is no wrong with this. That pure white light is entering in our crown or the top of our head. Going clearing out our third eye, front and back, our throat, front and back, our heart, front and back, our solar plexus, front and back, our sacral, which is three fingers down from below your belly button, and our base chakra. Now, while we're imagining that, what I'd like you to now do is take one deep breath and we're going to imagine that pure white light going all the way into the earth core of Mother Earth. One, two, three, push it out. <laughs> Well done. Now what we're going to do is return the love back to Great Spirit and we're going to now bring the, from the core of Earth Mother, we're going to bring that beautiful energy and that's actually going to come all the way through. So take a deep breath in and just slowly just bring that back up all the way through your base chakra, your solar plexus, sorry, your sacral solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, out through your crown and give that back to spirit. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put, um, take some deep breaths in and we're actually going to fill our heart space with white light. So just imagine that pure white light and it's going to fill your heart space to the extent that it is actually feeling like it's going to explode. That's it. Oh, wow, everyone. That's just incredible. Now, this is for you. What we're going to do is explode this absolutely everywhere. So it's not going to be in one direction. It's going in all directions. And we're going to go through every single cell in our body, including our DNA, we're going to actually have it go through our aura and out into the space. And it doesn't matter how far it goes, just let it go. And what's going to happen is, is that we, sending that out with the intention of love, you're going to start attracting the right people to you. Okay? So this is your time right here, right now. So one, two, three. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Now that we've actually done that, what I'd like you to do is refill that space and I want you to think about Pam. 
And so everybody, this is just like a massive group hug. So feel that heart space up. I can feel like, Pam, you've got so much support here. I can really feel so much happening here. So what we're going to be doing, everyone's doing the slow breathing already. It's just amazing. I can just feel so much happening here. Okay. One last slow, deep breath. And Pam, you just sit there in your own space, okay? And we're actually now going to be sending this pure white love light energy direct to you as a special gift. One, two, three. Well done. Thank you so much, everybody, for that. That is That was just so special. Probably a little bit different to what we were expecting there, Pam and Sue, but Spirit actually just had um, said that it's really important to make sure that we try and raise our vibration enough because mum is quite ill um, and there's a lot that's going on. Mum, you need to start talking a lot more, okay? You're not sharing everything with Sue or the family. Okay, um, they need to know, they need to know what you're feeling, whether you're having a good day, a bad day, whether you're struggling, not sure about things, all of these sorts of things um, can, in, you know, make things even worse, because once we've got the chitter chatter in our mind, and I know how special you are, you want you you have for your whole life been at the epicenter of your whole family and you don't want to be a burden to anybody and I understand that but the thing is is that if you actually start sharing um, and letting your family members know exactly what's going on you're actually it, you're taking the burden not only away from yourself but you're actually taking the burden away from your family members as well because they are, they're worrying about you Pam they're really concerned and they love you and what we need to do is make sure that we actually have that communication on a regular basis start like I, I'm getting told that you're doing some sneaky not taking everything that you need to um, nutrients is really important for you at the moment so um, have a chat with me after if you want to talk about those sorts of things because I do an overall um, health, wealth, um, or health and, you know, internal wealth as well so that, you know, we're actually nurturing you because when you actually start taking medication and especially the ones that um, you seem to be on, it's drawing out all your nutrients. So you're actually being sapped on two aspects. So it like your aura has been closing in on you as well as your nutrients have actually been um, taken away um, as well. So it's really, really important that we actually make sure that mum has as much healthy um, um, vegetables and things like that. Now, I know it's really hard to get organic all the time um, and you are near me, well, sort of near me. Um, I think you're at Gulwa. Um, I've got um, some stuff that's non-toxic, um, you know, oh, I can't even think of the word, I'm, my, I'm, my mind's still with mum, um, but where we can actually soak the vegetables, it's only like you only need a teaspoon of this stuff um, and it actually will draw all the poisons and the toxins out of the, the fruit and the vegetables. And it's not just the skin that it actually takes it out. It goes down into the, you know, the first layer because the poison's actually, you know, it, how we peel an apple or peel a carrot, it's not enough. Like you need to actually draw all the poisons because it goes right into the, you know, the nutrient source. So that sort of thing as well is really important to, so that we can actually get mum as nurtured and healing as possible. Now, I've just... Sarah, thank you so much um, as well. That was just amazing. 
I've got Dawn Dillon here wiping tears as we sent the healing love to Pam. It was, it was so overwhelming. And, you know, I know that we talked last week, Dawn, and, you know, you're just such a caring and nurturing person. And, and it was, yeah, thank you. Oh, you're in Wyala. Oh, um, I actually had someone that was driving through Wyala the other day. I wish that um, we were able to link in a little bit closer, but we can have a chat anyway. Like there's lots of different things that we can actually do. And as I said, um, I do have the, the nutrient side of things as well, um, which are non-harmful and non-toxic, which is really perfect, um, especially, and it doesn't matter how healthy or how ill you are, just making sure that, you know, we live our life to our fullest and, you know, having the right um, food inside our bodies as well makes a massive difference. Now, I, that was amazing. It was extremely strong. It was it was in, incredible, wasn't it? And Dan, Malachite Healing. Oh, that's something new that I didn't know about that you actually tapped on. So there's another one of um, that he's, he's got. Yeah, good old Air Peninsula. That's awesome. Now, with mum. Nutrients. Really be aware of when you're actually taking um, the medication as well, that you are doing it at the right time. Um, like, so Sue, so can you actually put reminders on mum's phone for me so that she actually has it? So what she needs to do is we need to actually get nutrients into her body before we actually any of those um, medications are taken, all right? No more um, white bread. Um, there's just nothing in there. The only thing that's in white bread that is, um, it's bleached flour, um, the preservatives, they actually, some of the ingredients in, of the um, white floured bread is actually rat poison ingredients. So that it's not putting anything in. Okay. Now, ah, oh, hey, Rosie, how you doing? Um, it's been a very special one um, this morning. I'd love for you to um, do a replay and give me some feedback on, um, on today because it was just very empowering. Uh, where am I? Tina actually said I needed that more than I realised. So thank you very much like, for that affirmation as well. Okay. And Sue has just re um, said, okay. So that would be to also the, the, the reminders in the phone. So we need to get ourselves into a routine. Um, so also like practice with mum on the grounding techniques. It takes um, 21 days to get into a habit. Um, and then all of a sudden things can actually start coming to place. But just remember, and this is for myself as well, I got out of, out of a routine. Just one small thing can make a whole difference in our life. And that is really important to know and to understand as well. Dawn is saying nine grain white wheat bread. Okay, so um, like, I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that, but um, thank you very much for that, Dawn. See, this is the community that we actually have. Um, I think this is my anniversary six week, if my memory serves me um, correctly, Roz like, uh, and Dan. Um, like, look at the community that we've got here. Like, Dawn sharing, you know, her knowledge and, you know, we're all coming in and it's... Um, you know, it's one, like I might be the face here, but we're all in it together. And if you want to actually come in and actually join me, just message um, me. And what I'll do is I'll guide you as to a link and you can actually come and have a chat and we can actually do a few things together. I'm very happy to do that also because it makes it a little bit interesting also. Um, because obviously I'm just sitting here looking at a camera. If I remember to look at the camera, um, <laughs> I did have a sticky note and it fell off and my note is actually saying smile big and um, it's also to remind me to actually look at the camera, which was Roz's idea because I tend to be looking at my chest. 
Um, good morning. This is the first time I've joined your sessions and I found it extremely interesting today and I believe that I need to learn how to ground myself. Thank you so much for coming and joining us, Diane. It was, um, it has been an amazing whirlwind of a number of weeks and today has been exceptionally powerful. Ros, what we're actually doing as well is we're going to get, oh, look at that. Daniel saying, I believe so, and getting bigger and stronger with each show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Like, I have to admit, um, when Adair went, um, like, had some hiccups with her internet and she couldn't actually go on a show, and Dan messaged me and he said, are you going on today? Like, And so this is my third week that um, the internet went a little bit interesting. I went, oh, I don't know about that one. Like, you know, Adair's not here. And he actually said, Mary step up, get yourself together um, because you need to keep this momentum going. I feel in my heart that this is the right thing that you're doing. So I have to give accolades to my bear that um, and let him know how much I love him and how dear he is in my life. So he's just, an, I love bear so much. He's just beautiful. I'm crying just thinking about him. <sighs> And Ros is saying community in our tribe, and it is. And I do also highly recommend every eight, approximately 8 o'clock, um, I think it's 7.30, it's on a Monday morning now, but about 8 o'clock Adelaide time, um, Ros comes in and she does her uh, daily cards, and they're very inspiring as well. I just really love it. Um, good morning, ma'am. Please, I am for India, big fan of you. Namaste. Sada, sa Hindi, Hindi. Song love him. I am India. I am Ron Mason, Ras and Roy. Thank you very much for that. So, Roy, we would love to have you. We try and do it. Um, most times it's on a Sunday, but sometimes it does need to be on a Saturday. But I'd like to keep connected with everybody um, and make sure that we're on this journey together. As you've worked out over the last six weeks or so that initially this actually was um, for me to do so, you know, quick two minute psychic readings um, and everything like that. And this has actually just evolved as a massive community. Obviously I do personal one-on-ones as well. Um, and I can do psychic readings, um, mediumship channeling. I do a number of different um, methodology and healings. Um, shamanic practices, crystal healings. Um, I also do land and house clearings as well, as you probably worked out with what we did with Roz. Uh, Roz sorry, Roz. Looks like um, Spirit's telling me we need to do one for you as well. <laughs> okay. Um, um, like Adair, you know, and it's just like, so this is not just the quick um, chip in, chip out. Let's, you know, obviously it is an advert, um, me coming in here because you know I'd like to grow my business and I would actually like to be able to have um, you know that side of things as well but this has just become exceptionally special and I you know it's this is becoming bigger than Ben Hur it's something that we're all starting to grasp so on that one I will just bring out all technology is interesting in its reliability. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, it got me jumping, didn't it? It was incredible. Oh, Tina's saying it's Saturday night for me. So have you got your glass of wine sitting there with your feet up there, Tina? Oh, Dan, I don't want to show this because I'll start crying. Um, you're an amazing and inspirational person. Love your heaps. Yeah, I love your guts. You're my special bear. Can you inbox me, Mary, your link for a reading, etc.? Absolutely, Leanne. Happy to do that for you. <laughs> Tina, she's taking one for the team. Okay, now what an honour today. Um, I'd love for people to put comments in and share their experiences also. Like, and I've, we've actually had a lot. My, um, if you haven't already liked and followed me, I'm Mary Kathleen Waters. 
Okay, um, and as I said, there's a number of different areas there that we do. I'll, um, I'm always here. It's been an honour and a privilege to actually be here today. I do want to personally thank Adair Palmer for coming in and sharing. You know, something like being vulnerable is really tough. You know what? That is the ultimate of putting every ounce of ego onto the ground and laying the cards out. So Adair, thank you so much. You made today and every single one of you that's on this chat. I'm looking at my chat here because it's like, you know, I want to go Ros, Tina, Stu, Dawn, Ros, Tina, Daniel, Roy, like Leanne, Sue, Pam, Sarah, Dawn. You know, you, you are all today. You made today. And I just want to say thank you so, so much. And if you want to hashtag um, replay and, you know, get those people out there to, you know, to know about this community and we're going to be looking at a number um, of different things and options. Adair and I are looking at doing a couple of workshops as well and obviously Shift That Shit is going to be one of them. Um, Spirit's actually putting forward as well um, that there's going to be a challenge as well with Dan. So, Dan, we need to actually get our nose to the grindstone. There's a couple of things there that Spirit's actually asking us to do. So watch this space. We're going to be doing a lot of um, work and together we can actually make this community grow and together we can actually, you know, heal Earth Mother because it's so important for us to walk every step of the way you know, what we do, every action, every step, thought, word, action, step, we're putting that into Earth Mother. So be very, very careful what you're actually putting in there, okay? So we need to look at the way that our mindset is and then we can actually heal her as much as we're healing everybody else. You keep well, keep safe. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been 66 minutes, um, so that's a massive... Um, day and commitment that you've actually had with me today. You take care, keep well, keep safe and I love you all. Bye for now.